So we're going to do a little tutorial to make a honey pot for Winnie the Pooh. Um, a lot of people have said they would like one. So the colours I'm going to use are brown, the Rainbow Loom Cocoa for the pot, and Rainbow Loom Opaque for the honey. I'm going to have my loom just to do my magic ring. I'm using stitch markers just so that I can um, know where I start and finish on each round. And I'm using my Clover Soft Touch 2.75 hook because this will be a hook design. So let's start off, we're going to do a magic ring. With a brown band, wrap it around your peg once and twice. And we're going to do nine little bands in there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Push your hook through and drag back and do your little slip knot. And we're going to do this to all nine of the bands. one and we'll take that off our loom and just gently spread out these bands so that they're evenly spaced I'm going to put a stitch marker here if you don't have a stitch marker you can use um, a paper clip a C clip an S clip whatever you have I'm going to do another magic ring and this time it's going to still be nine but I'm using yellow so here's my first one one and two and let's do nine. So it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. While I have my loom out, might as well do them both. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of my loom now. Let's spread these little bands around. And I'm going to put my hook through the first stitch. And I'm going to go around doing an increase in each of these nine stitches. So pull my first band through, do a single crochet, and I'm going to put another stitch marker on here. Okay, go back through that first stitch, and I'm going to do my second single crochet. Alright, I'm in the second stitch now. Let's do two single crochets in this one. There's, oopsie, number one, and back through again, number two, third stitch, number one, number two. I'm going to just do this till we get back to the stitch marker. Two in each of these.
to the beginning I'm going to go through that first stitch so you don't have the same problem with that uh, yellow band poking out which you're going to see as we progress in this uh, tutorial I'm doing a quick edit to show you what we're going to do put your hook through where you're going to tie off at this is your last stitch so this would have been your stitch marker would have been on here okay push your hook through take a black band to tie off with you're going to pull your black band through get rid of the stitch marker instead of doing a, a single crochet like this to join it together you're going to do a slip stitch so join it through that stitch that's on your hook as well so it's like this put them together one over the other and that will stop you having that problem that you can see in the uh, in the video all right so that's how we're going to do that the way I'm thinking of doing this is that this is going to sit inside our little honey pot and that's going to be the the honey um, you could al almost do this also if you chose your color of your pot you could make this black and it would be like a little cauldron um, filled with gold for your little leprechaun so that's another idea okay just changing the colors so back to our little brown uh, magic ring we're going to do the same thing we're going to put two stitches in each of these stitches one and before I move forward let's move my stitch marker there we go and a second one in that spot and now the same again Oops, come back here. to the beginning push your hook through and we do a single crochet and move your stitch marker to that little spot now for our next round so that was our two single crochets in every stitch so for our next round we're just going to do single crochet all the way around
back to the beginning and do a single crochet through, change your stitch marker and another round of single crochet. And we will do another round of single crochet with a stitch marker. Back to the beginning, we're going to do another round. We're actually going to do another two rounds, okay? A single crochet. Move your stitch marker. So, another two rounds. And our last round for this little part.
back to the beginning we're going to do a little single crochet here and move our stitch marker now what we need to try and do is keep that stitch marker on the outside here okay we will be putting a tiny bit of stuffing in here but what we're going to do is stitch this onto our little pot okay so I'm going to go through here with a brown band in a slip stitch like that okay and what I'm going to do in fact let's take that off there we go what I need to do and when you're doing it with crochet you would sew it on well, it's very difficult to sew it on because we can't really use needle and thread on this so what I'm going to do is take this hook here off I'm going to take this brown band out I'm going to use my tie off band here my, my little loop here I'm going to link that through like this so that they're together alright and then I'm going to go through one side one loop here and I'm going to marry that up with the next one that's online here which is this one and I'm going for the outer I'm going to try and make sure that my my honey does not fall down okay so I'm going to go through I've gone through the outer of both of these and then a single crochet like this again through the outer and through the next outer here brown band single crochet through the outer and the outer and single crochet them together that's going to be tricky and you're not going to completely do it because we want to add stuffing but we've got to go through we've got to do it a little bit first before we can stuff it so that it's almost like a little lid all right nearly around but we need to remember need to leave a little opening so that we can pop our stuffing in and I probably should have done that last one as a brown band but never mind so we've got this little space in here I'm going to pop some stuffing in there okay not very much you don't want too much I'm going to just pop my stitch marker here take my hook out splay that open so that I can get my stuffing in Remember what I told you about overstuffing. Overstuffing causes a problem. As I said, you can do this in black instead of brown and have a little cauldron that the end of your rainbow will fit into <laughs> for your little leprechauns that you might be making for St. Paddy's Day. Or for Halloween for your little witch. Not that we're there yet, but okay, so I have stuffed. Let's continue forward. I really should have done that as a brown. <laughs> Kicking myself now. All right, putting my hook back in here. And let's continue on the outside 
and the outside. The outside and the outside. And it gets trickier to so sort of squeeze it so that you don't lose and the outside and the outside. Now we're back to the beginning. What I'm going to do is I want to put my hook through this first stitch here. I want to try and get, oh, I suppose I can. There we go, through that first stitch here, and again I'm going to be going through in a single crochet. I'm going to try. Come here. There we go. Alright, and we're going to do, I really should have done that as brown. <laughs> single crochet all the way around. just in the two brown stitches when I say the two brown stitches the, the two loops of each brown stitch I don't know about you but I hate these little fibres from the uh, the polyfill, they get everywhere. And somebody had asked me how I come up with ideas and you know, do I plan them out and everything. You've just witnessed exactly how I how I do things. I sit here and I play and I make, you know, I have an idea and I sit here and I play and I make it. And that's exactly what we've just done with this little honey pot. I knew how I wanted to make it and I've not made one before. So we've just made one together. And that's why you can see that I made that little mistake with my yellow band. All I'm going to do with that is actually tuck it in. the beginning here. See if I can pull that in a little bit. Not really. Do my last single crochet. I'm going to tuck that in here. I'm going to just loop it in because it's annoying me. I'm going to tie a slip knot with the yellow band. And at least then just have that inside. So with this, I'm going to come in here, tie a slip knot with my brown band to tie off like that. I'm going to poke my hook up the center and poke it through to grab that yellow tie off band and drag it back in because that was annoying me. So there we go. That's that's hidden inside our honey pot now, or our witch's cauldron, or whatever you want to call it. And our brown band, what I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap it around this yellow band actually, try and hide it a bit. And then just poke it through. to the inside and hide it among one of these bands here. Like so. There we have a little honey pot or a little cauldron or um, yeah, whatever you want to make it really. 
Here's, uh, where's Pooh Bear? Can we get Pooh Bear? There we are. Hope you enjoy making. Take care. Bye.